Get in, nerds. We are playing Victoria 3. I actually realized, again, I need I need to be doing the Western Frontier stuff. So let's get started with that before I forget again. So, who wants to go? I know the person for the job. Uh, let's send... Let's send Winfield Scott. He's been hanging around the United States a long time. Let me see. Let me make sure that doesn't goof one of my armies here. Uh, it goofs the 4th American Army. Uh, too many hussars. Uh, close you out. They're going to the regular army. Which, of course, now needs to have some more infantry. Actually, no. It should be fine. It'll be fine. Completely fine. Alright, so... Right, I was going to go after uh, another... I was going to chase another conquest in Africa. Um, I was going to grab Borgu. Let me see. If I, how, how much infinity would it be if I grabbed both states in Borgu? 3.6 over here. 5.3. So it would be about 10 plus 1 extra to grab both. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, again, I can bring Great Britain in if I absolutely need to, but I don't think I will. Um, I'm going to leave... I'm not going to force a diplomatic play, because if they accept, then bully for me. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. They've refused. Nobody's shocked by this. We'll go ahead and mobilize the troops. I'm going to put the Army of Observation on the front, but I'm not going to raise conscripts yet. I'm going to do the same with the regular army. And I am going to raise the conscripts of the Army of Florida. And we'll see what happens. We'll see who gets involved in this. Uh, I will throw... Oop, there's an event. Uh, I will throw the other state in there. And now we've got a mountain sighted. A member of the expedition has suggested that we detour to climb a mountain and claim it in the name of the United States of America. One of the expedition members had his eyes locked on the mountain. It's a good risk, my friend. I don't think anyone has claimed this one yet, you see. Imagine how they'd pay us back home for all this insignificant rock. Snow slides down the mountainside, melted like threads of gray cotton. Excellent idea. 66% chance that we hit the summit. 33% chance of mountainside issues, so we can't spare the time. Minor progress. Um... I'm going to try it. I'm going to take a risk again. If we get another mountainside issue, that'll be what it is. Hey, we got it. The expedition has scaled the mountain and claimed it in the name of the United States of America. They've also decided to name it Mount Scott. With one final heave, Winfield Scott threw himself over the lip of the last cliff. As he straightened both posture and snowy clothes, the first light of day broke behind them. A hero's welcome to the west, and a mountain claimed, and the cream on top of the mash, the flag of, a, of the American, brought forth by a younger expeditionary. Gains progress. Hey, that's awesome. How old is Winfield Scott? Is he truly a younger expeditionary? He's 68. A spry 68. Fair enough. Fair enough, Winfield. You can do it. So, we are continuing to uh, build up progress here. So, who's gonna step in? Looks like no one. Oh, yo, sides with Borgu. Alright. Um, so, that merges those fronts. And Benny. Alright, so we're, we're where we expected to be. Benin has 20 battalions. Let's take a quick look at their production methods. Um, these are all regular infantry. So I'm going to... I am, I think, still going to activate the conscripts of the Army of Observation. I think that's sensible. Oh, I can upgrade artillery. Yep. That was dumb. I did a dumb. Actually... Can I undo that? Can I not upgrade the artillery? Yes! Alright. That's fine. That's just fine. So, what's my... Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Can I throw in... A war goal against Benin? I can, but it'll be too much. On the other hand... 
I could make Benin a protectorate, which I would love to do. You see, 6.3 infamy. I can live with 6.3 infamy. Let's do it. I can't add it to primary, obviously. That'll delay things, but that's fine. That'll help me build up my uh, my conscripts. No one seems interested. Spain might help out. But if Spain helps out, then I'll bring in Great Britain. A new quest. As the expedition advances, the prioritization of tasks increases in importance, and Winfield Scott has started a log in which he keeps track of what each man, man must do. Document the new species of plants and flowers. Draw them. Draw the animals. Document them, too. One of our men has the hand and talent of an artist, although his difficulties with the anatomy have already been, que have already been questioned by a few members. Regardless, he's been a great help during this expedition. Most of the others are sent hunting as our journey leaves behind the mapped villages and roads that others followed before us. It's... It's just us now, us and the wilds. Hunting must be prioritized. It's imperative that we find a settlement. Um, I'm going to say hunting must be... Uh, is there... I'm going to say hunting will be prioritized. Let's see what we can get going on here. We got low peril. Things are good. Hunting. The expedition men who had been sent hunting have found an area by the riverbank filled with every animal that they had encountered during their travel. The question is which one to hunt. The forest was a dream of greenness, and bears, wild boars, wolves, deer, deer and bison, hare, foxes, and even goats. It was filled with their sounds and movement, like a living book. Nature ran free and unscathed, and the feeling of letting oneself loose was a significant temptation. Back to the gardens of paradise. <laughs> Nature was running unscathed, and we're about to scathe it. Uh, we can't afford any risks. Go for a small animal. Low risk. Um, small peril, small progress. Good chances. And we need the food. Go for the big game. 50-50 chance. Getting progress in peril. Ah, my last expedition failed. I'm going to go with the first one. Hey, we got progress. Wonderful. All right. Easy peasy. No problem whatsoever. So I think if we can cross over uh, into Benin, we can get them occupied, and that'll be just fine with me. Great Britain, you want... <laughs> Great Britain, I don't... That doesn't help me. See, I'm afraid that... I'm afraid that someone else is going to join when they know they can shoot at the British. You know what? We'll do it. It's fine. Reducing Oyo autonomy doesn't affect me either way. Um, so we'll... I'm going to focus on my war goals. And Great Britain can defend that front. France colonized Volta. Yeah, they're really going there. Get the experts. Difficult points raised by the supporters of William Ingalls have led to the government searching for technical experts to give their impressions on the colonial exploitation law. It should, I should be entirely frank. The decision to enact without consulting a professor in the field has left this law dangerously incapable of addressing the very issue for its being. Who well, among you would produce this expert? Or shall I do it for you? Collaborate to find an expert. Cost us money to stronger industrialists. See if Ingalls will walk the talk. 70% uh, chance uh, of reduced enactment chance. 30% chance if he was bluffing. Or find one from our finest university. 60% um, chance of reduced enactment chance, 40% chance of increased enactment chance. I'm going to say... I'm going to go with a risk. I can live with a little bit of uh, enactment chance loss in this one. So let's give it a shot. Ah, it went down. That's okay. That's okay. We're doing fine. We're in study. We're where we want to be. Aristocratic revolt in Sokoto. A new quest. This is that same event. Um, I'm gonna try hunting again. That was good. That was a good time last time. That worked. We did what we wanted to do. Hunting. Uh, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing. I don't wanna. I don't wanna take any risks here. We're we're we know what we're doing and it's working right now. So let's not goof it up and 
try something crazy. We're in the middle of a war here. Let's not let's not get silly. So, Sokoto, how would you like to be part of the United States? No? Okay. All right. Never mind then. This war does have significant costs associated with it. Um, force comparison here looks rock solid. I'm going to... Okay, we got an, a friendly army on its way over to this front. All right. All right. That's fine. I'm going to put this other army over here. And that should be fine. I don't want to... I don't want to risk losing my chance at Benin over Great Britain not knowing what's going on over here. Okay, they do have an army on the way. That's fine. That's just fine. We'll get to do everything we want to do. So, the capital of Borgu is here. Charms uh, is here. So we'll set that as our strategic objective. We've already conquered most of Benin. Very good. That puts us moving into the uh, eastern side of Oyo. Winning a two-front war is a difficult situation, so that should be fine for us. Thinning the opposition. In a display of disunity amongst opponents of the government, William Ingalls has openly published the names of certain rival opposition figures in one of his pamphlets. The reveal of these identities gave the police a welcome opportunity. Without a strong organizational organization skilled in waging political struggle under all circumstances and at all times, there can be no question of that systematic plan of action, illumined by firm principles and steadfastly carried out, which alone is worthy of the name of tactics. How convenient. 10% enactment chance... The anti-movement becomes uh, weaker but more radical, and he, William Ingalls gets stronger. Or we will not indulge this infantile plotting, reduce enactment chance. I'm going to go with the enactment chance. I think that's just fine. Having a weaker anti-movement is good. Ooh, more immigration. Wonderful. All right, front has moved. All the troops are lining up on the front. Let's go ahead and set all of these uh, war goals to the war goals. All right. And that is the end of the war. Let's start incorporating American Houseland right now. We are already started incorporating uh, Dahomey. Bad news. While reaching for one of the enclaves, a letter was waiting for Winfield Scott, stating that his fiance back in the United States of America has married another man. Oh, how sorrowful the heart and heavy the mind. This traitor has bewitched my intelligence and poisoned my soul. Oh, how miserable. Oh, how desperate. If the gods of fate are fair and just, they will get this despicable woman her well-deserved end. Let the man mourn, lose his progress. He'll find another one. It's peril and gains progress. Um, so, we started with low peril. Losing progress is really rough. I, I'm going to go with this one. So this is, we're at medium peril now. Okay, all right. But we, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. We've nearly done what we wish to do. Um, the war is over and we're still building. So, uh, this war is properly kicked off already. I've got a lot of infamy. I'm going to start improving relations with Benin. Uh, so that we can continue to uh, make things better over there. Progress towards, you know, all the things we want to progress towards. Um... So at this point, I can start... I think it's time for me to start building a power block. Because I do have several subjects now. Oop. In a second, I'm going to build a power block. Um, but for now, I've got events. The Brave Engineer, a railroad accident in Pennsylvania, only narrowly avoided heavy fatalities due to the quick thinking of the train's engineer, who perished in the crash. Only a few people died, but the wreckage will still take some time to clear. Thank goodness for the quick-thinking engineer, minus five infrastructure, or railmen should get more than a song for dying on the job. The same penalty to infrastructure, but stronger trade unions. I'm going to go with stronger trade unions. Hopefully that'll... Because getting the trade unions and government uh, stronger eventually will help us get uh, universal suffrage, which so far has eluded us. An exile at the gates. The relatively lenient American immigration system has long been attractive to those fleeing their home nations. Recently, Per Selgren has petitioned to join the stream of people moving to the United States. He is an industrialist and a protectionist. It was one name on a very, very long list, one that had passed through multiple layers of bureaucracy before being noticed. One fateful day, however, one clerk at the end of his shift pointed at that name and spoke those fatal words. 
I can swear I've heard of him before. Uh, eventually, Per Selgren 2 will be American. He's currently Swedish. Or we'll not have someone like him. I, I'm fine with having a protectionist around here, so that's fine. Lobbyist lectures in Washington. A man employed by a powerful member of the American British Fellowship is delivering lectures and pamphlets addressed to targeting cons targeted constituencies in Washington. One lawmaker writes to a fellow politician, Each day he finds me. I do not know how. I am quite disturbed. What are his aims? That hired emissary of the American British Fellowship haunts the doors of the American Embassy, much like the ghost of the murdered Banquo. Make it clear lobbies are responsible for the emissaries they hire as to a legitimacy weaker yeoman farmers. Are any concerns about the emissary's behavior are unfounded? Yeoman farmers become stronger. I'm going to do the first one. I love getting legitimacy for essentially doing nothing. All right, we've got to enact interventionism. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I don't necessarily want interventionism, so I'm just going to leave that be. Snow on the ground. Some members of the expedition have expressed concern that the weather is turning against them. They insist on hunkering down to avoid the worst of it. The layers of snow kept growing, like untreated tumors. A huge white, a great white, and the reflection of it making our eyes sore and hurt. If we don't stop now, maybe we won't be able to stop anymore. One of the men shivers as he rubs his arms, lips as pale as our shadow over the snow. He doesn't say a word. Press on, 60% chance of survived in the snow, 40% chance of lost. Or heed their warning, the expedition is slightly delayed. I'm going to... Heed their warning. I don't want to press my luck. I'm very close to the end. It doesn't... Snow clears. Wonderful. Great news. Minor progress. After a while, the snow has subsided enough to push on. It's a good thing we didn't try to go out in that. Would have been a disaster. Nearly there. Nearly there, friends. Alright. We're still getting these naval bases built. Things are going just fine. Is Nevada in the Customs Union properly again? It is. Beautiful. So, do the mines have... The mines are still not hiring. Um, but things are looking better. They should be able to hire pretty soon. A torrent of abuse. We've been at, at, in the 40%s for a bit at this point. William Ingalls has launched a vicious series of insults against Abraham Lincoln for his support of colonial exploitation. The petite bourgeoisie have demanded the government act to defend his honor. Abraham Lincoln has the mentality of a particularly slow child. This is simply the reality of his situation. I severely doubt that he fully understands the implications of what he claims to desire. Rather, it is my suspicion that his nasally excretions, recognized as speech by some unfortunate translator, has simply been equated by default to the worst possible opinion. It is unsurprising that such a sentiment passed through his lips, however, for one must recognize that he simply lacks the mental faculties to participate in good faith politics. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. What a, <laughs> what a great event. Abraham Lincoln must learn to grow thicker skin. 90% chance of William Ingalls gets legendary uh, polemic. Legendary pandemic. Whew, don't want one of those. 10% chance of Abraham Lincoln becomes an alcoholic. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. President Dubois, stand forth. Um, and then uh, Petit Bourgeoisie, weaker. Or... Remind William Ingalls of our laws against slander. A weaker movement, but more radical movement, 50% chance. Or 50% chance, just more radical movement, but deep bourgeoisie happy. I'm going to go with the second one. Let's see how it impacts the movement. We're currently at 18 support, 11 radicalism. It didn't. Hey, there it goes. Oh, interesting. They bailed out and joined the movement to enact interventionism. Okay. Uh, a new quest. Uh, you know, I'm going to hunt again. Uh, we'll see what happens. Come on, give me a good result. Here. Uh, ooh. I got peril instead. Alright, well next time we'll try to find a settlement. It's okay, I think we can get there without having a problem. It's interesting, we got, we got a lot of peril really fast. I really hope this one doesn't fail out again when it's so close to being done. I would be very, I would be very sad if that happened. Um, Alright, we're still building out these naval bases. But again, finances are really solid. I don't necessarily need to worry about um, my finances right now. I'm not going to continue to increase the size of the construction sector, however, as uh, we, you know, we're, 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 I'm still getting out of debt. I always prefer not to be in government debt, so e any interest I'm paying is bad interest, in my opinion. So I'm just going to continue to do as I'm doing. Um, I might... Ooh, Southern Planters are weakened. 
And we've had a realignment in our politics. Okay, hold on. First, I've got a, an extra army kicking around that I don't need. Oh, I need to upgrade my artillery. Now that I'm not in a war, let's go ahead and upgrade the artillery. We'll upgrade... Wait a minute. There's an Upgrade All Units button somewhere. Upgrade All Units. There we go. Shabamzo. So good at video games. A circular expedition. The expedition to map the west has been traveling in circles. Winfield Scott can either pick a random direction and push on, or wait for night to fall and use the stars as a guide. I recognized the markings that we had left on a triangular-shaped rock. We kept walking as I decided not to mention them, but for the whispers among the other members and their unsettling eyes, I knew they... I was sure they also knew. We will walk through the forest like autumn leaves, broken branches, uncared for stray animals. Those kids in fairy tales sent to the woods by evil stepmothers. A circle is a circle is a circle. Push on. Real bad chances here. 66% uh, chance of a bad result, 33 of a good one. Or wait for nightfall. I need to push on, because I can't afford another peril increase. Ow, oh, hopelessly lost. Oh. Alright, so that's probably a failed expedition. Again, yep, a terrible shame. Alright, let's send another one. I'm going to get this expedition, friends. I'm going to make this expedition happen. Map the frontier. I know the person for the job. Let's send Clarence Stanley this time. He seems good. He's a brigadier general. And an authoritarian. Yeah, you go out there and get freaking killed in the West, you stupid authoritarian. Hey, we finally got to voting. Wonderful. Okay, so do I have the ability to colonize? I don't. Okay, so I think it. I think the way frontier colonization works is it needs to be on the same continent as the capital. Um, all right. I was going to talk about starting a power block because um, I would love to have a power block. So, oh my goodness, customize the emblem and statue. Oh, man. Okay, I can't form a monarchy, uh, a sovereign empire, because I'm not a monarchy. I can't form a military treaty because I have national militia. I can't form a religious convocation because I have freedom of... Con uh, I have um, separation of church and state. So it has to be either a trade league or an ideological union. Um, this is interesting. I'm actually going to wait on that for now. Because um, I want to do some customization, and I might take some time between episodes to do that. A circular expedition already. Gosh, wait for nightfall. We're still in low peril. We're still in low peril. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I shouldn't have hunted. I should have found a settlement. That's okay. It's all right. It's all right. These things happen. So, Kotu, are you fighting a war? Because you seem like you're fighting a war, but... Seems like it's been going on a long time. I may try to bite off a chunk of Sokoto. Maybe grab the west of Hauseland for myself. Cut them in half. Inefficient agriculture. Oh. The industrialists have started complaining about the existence of subsistence farms in Arizona, saying their undeniable inefficiency should be immediately addressed. Arizona. So, if I say we should follow their advice, upper stardom pops will become more radical. Okay, there are manor houses. Arizona, but not that many. You know, we should follow their advice. Again, this is all that's standing in the way... This expedition is all that's standing in the way of me uh, getting the Northwest from Great Britain, which would be nice. I would love to get that. Come on, give me colonial exploitation. We're already... We almost got the institution... We got the institution up to large. New Grenada, damaging relations. They're rebellious. New Grenada. How can you do this? I'm going to offer them knowledge sharing. I can afford that. That'll reduce their liberty desire, which will be nice. Um... Mm, yeah, they got... They got, uh... They got anti-American political lobbies. Maybe I will uh, fund pro-American lobbies. Yes, I think I will do that. Uh, this will cost a little bit... Ooh. Mm 
I'm still going to do it. I think it's worthwhile. Hat trick. Whilst the government debates the merits of colonial exploitation, several newspapers have published polemics by William Ingalls trying to invoke an obscure law against it. Lawyers affiliated with the intelligentsia pointed out that said law is invalid. An example of an obscure, debatably redundant law is that a hat must be worn while making a point of order. This law does not specify which hat to wear, only that it is worn when th and the point of order made. Thus, it would be very good form to wear a dunce cap when making an invalid point of order. Strike this useless law, William Ingalls becomes weaker and unpopular, five enactment chance, or modernize this alongside colonial exploitation. Alonzo Delano, uh, an intelligentsia guy, becomes more popular and extra enactment chance. I'm going to go with the second one. This is fine. Again, my goal is just to, to do things. The Miracle of Life. Um, the expedition is waking up in the middle of the night. Inhuman screams come from one of the tents and a female voice cries, baby. The Miracle of Life. How less of a miracle it was and how much, much of a torture it seemed when looking at that poor woman giving birth. The screams couldn't be stopped for at least two more hours and all of our scarce medicines were allocated to such terrifying labor. To what extent they seem to work, I must confess that my hopes are low and that I wish this woman a simpler life after this calvary. Um, if we t send them to a village, we'll get minor progress. But again, I want to be able to find a settlement and get progress from that. So we'll take care of the baby. This will delay the expedition. It simply is what it is. Liberian attitude worsened. Why uh, Liberia? Why are you salty? Ah, uh, you don't want to have your autonomy reduced. Um, okay, let's take a look at my, my, my spread of subject states here. Um, Benin's Midland. Um, we're improving relations with them. Indian Territory is low. New Grenada is Midland. Um, but their, their liberty desire is going down, and I'm giving them knowledge sharing. Um, yeah, and our economies are entangled. So, yeah, I think that's, I think that's actually fine. I think that's fine. I, I want to be careful. Because if I, well... If I reduce New Grenada's autonomy... I do want to be able to reduce New Grenada's autonomy. I'm going to reduce someone else's autonomy, but I'm going to wait for now um, because I'm going to... Um, I'm going to wait for now with uh, because I don't want New Grenada to be wanting autonomy. Stuff going on in Hanover. I can't, I can't be arsed unless someone wants to be a subject, but no one does. So it is what it is. Undiscovered plant species. A member of the expedition has asked for a few days to stop and collect samples of a previously unknown plant species. The colorful petals of the plant have certainly never been seen before. A dash of the brightest scarlet, some hints of adventurous azure, thorns, but only so small that the risk is desirable. Soon the most luxurious salons of the United States of America will be brimming with vases of these flowers, and every woman will wish that her lover would bring her some. Fascinating, and certainly lucrative. Of course, minor progress, slightly delayed. Or what are we gardeners gains progress? Um, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with just progress. Yeah, there we go. Give me a block of progress. Heck yes. We got some difficulties in some of our states. Um, which means we need to build up some industry in those areas. Those are Connecticut, Delaware, and Rhode Island. Um Rhode Island, Connecticut, and Delaware. All of our really small states. Um, yeah, things are rough there. They got manor houses, but they're goofed up. I wonder if these manor houses own something unprofitable. Maybe those, uh... <laughs> maybe those, um... Those gold mines I built out in Nevada. Uh, let's see. This way. Um, let's go ahead and build... An arts academy. So for Delaware, we'll build an arts academy. We'll just build an arts academy. I think that's fine. We can always use more arts. Where is it? Am I blind? It's all the way at the top. A for arts academy. All right. Um, Rhode Island. Uh, let's go ahead and throw in some 
uh, civilian shipyards. And then for Connecticut, we'll do Oh, actually, no, this is silly. Connecticut already has an arts academy, so we'll throw a couple more in there, and then in Delaware, we'll do some furniture manufactories. There we go. All right, we got it. We got it sorted. Circular Expedition once again. Um, I'm going to wait for Nightfall. It's going to give us a small amount of peril, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to throw all of these at the top of the construction queue. I'm going to finish out the North Carolina ones. Hey! Finally, we got colonial expo exploitation. So, let's go ahead and start colonizing. We can colonize here, 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 here. And Alaska, finally. <sighs> Alright. And we've already got quinine. I feel confident. Yes. So we're not going to have reduced progress gain. And that'll be nice. And there's chemical bleaching. Wonderful. So, paper bleaching for our paper mills is actually of critical importance. It's going to be a huge help uh, in terms of keeping our paper mills profitable and keeping paper cheap, which is really important because the government needs paper. Let's go ahead and uh, cut the paper mills we were going to build because we no longer need them. Now that we got plenty of uh, paper. So that's very good. Um, I'm just going to remove this uh, import route. So where do our dyes come from? Our dyes mostly come from dye plantations and trade routes. Um, that's fine. We got dye plantations in the customs union, so that's perfectly good. And there's mechanized workshops. Wonderful. So that is also going to allow us to build uh, quite a few things. Number one, sewing machines is going to make our textile mills much more productive. Mechanized workshops is going to make our furniture manufacturers much more productive. And I can certainly produce more luxury clothes than I'm currently producing. I'll have the ones in New York start working on craftsman sewing. That's going to add an increased... Uh, beautiful. Uh, silk demand in our customs union. We are bringing some in from uh, the Ottoman Empire and France. So that should cover that. France is going after Ait Abbas. Where is Itaba? Oh, it's there. All right, well, that's fine with me. I don't need to get involved in that. That simply is what it is. France, you and I have had some unfortunate wars, but I believe we can be friends. Great Britain is going after Galetti. That's over here in the east. Wow, they are uh, colonizing fast. An explorer's life for me. An insurgent group has emerged within the expedition. Two of the men have sneaked out in the middle of the night to go to a liquor store. But we, you know, Captain, it's been a while since we were home, and you know, explorers will be explorers, right? We were, just, we were just exploring in a pit in some, some other direction. But exploring nonetheless. These men need some discipline. Reduce the current peril. Expedition is delayed. Or they just need to break minor progress and peril. I'm going to do the first one. I, I don't want to take any risks here, friends. That's I'm just trying to be sensible about this. Um, we got isolated colonies, so let's go ahead and build ourselves some ports. Bam, one there. Bam, one here. And we will throw these in at the top. Actually, we'll, we're going to throw these all the way at the top of the uh, building queue here. Um, we are in the process of incorporating Hausland, and that's part of why I want to take Hausland from Sokoto right now. Oh, French Empire is colonizing, so I would love to steal uh, some chunks of the Netherlands from the Netherlands. But relations with the Netherlands are too good.
Hold on. I might be able to get a trade states thing to happen here. Can I give them a bit of anything? You know what? If I gave them a bit of... I could give them Windward Coast for their chunk of Mauritania. All right, let's try this. Uh, yeah, da, da, da. Trade states uh, can't do it. It's not committed participant in a diplomatic play. They're in the middle of a war. All right, well, that's fine. We'll, 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 we'll put a pin in that. We'll put a pin in that. Um, and as we go this way, we can go after Futa Jalon, and that will be an interesting option as things go on. That said, this is the end of 55, and that is all we've got time for this episode. Finances are good. Um, we're slowly getting ourselves fully out of debt, and interest payments are extremely low. Continuing to build up industry, the uh, GDP is growing at a solid rate. Standard of living is good. We've, uh, we've started some, some conquests and colonization in Africa. We've started to establish our network of, uh, of protectorates. So things are going pretty solid. Um, and my nerds, that is all we've got for today. I've had fun. I hope you've had fun. And I'll see you on the other side.